found a nice little place to hide away from the worst of the storm. Quite amazing. It's like a different world in here. If I take it out, it's like an old part of a Manx Fulton. Um, it's just offering the only protection from the snow, so I'm just sitting in there at the moment, waiting this out. This is the start of our walk to the Manx Fulton at the back of North Barul. Um, it's got a name I can't even pronounce, so I'm not even going to embarrass myself and try. But yeah, generally, we're going to follow this path for about a mile and a half. Just hiding from the snow once again. It seems pretty much relentless at the moment. I'm gonna to have to just wait and see whether it's even worth continuing. Beautiful though. Just look at this, absolutely gorgeous. Bit of a weird, lonely green field down there by itself, a bit odd. Thankfully it's stopped snowing. Finally here, this place is something else. It's a little bit of a hidden wonder on the Isle of Man. A lot of people don't even know that it exists here. It sits around the back of North Peru, which is one of the highest mountains on the Isle of Man. Um, and it's very hidden away, as you can see around me. Not another soul to be seen anywhere. Complete and utter silence. So I'm setting up my new tripod that I've never tried before so a bit of a baptism of fire here um, I'm just positioning myself slightly back from it because you need to see the archway polarizer falling in the snow got to dry this off So what settings am I shooting at? I am shooting at f10, 15th of a second, ISO 64. Um, the light levels tend to be changing quite regularly, but we're getting really nice bursts of sun from over there at the moment. Um, it's just illuminating this entire valley. Absolutely spectacular. So I think it's worth waiting around to see if we can uh, get the sun illuminating this foreground here. And hey presto, the sun came out and illuminated the ruin and most of the valley, allowing me to capture the composition I was looking for. The burst of light only lasted for around two minutes, but that was enough to get the shot. Basically this is what photography is, 90% patience. I've just come around the other side of the Fulton to get a shot of it looking down the other way. It's actually quite spectacular. In many ways this new composition was even better than the first. The soft winter light made shooting into the sun quite easy to expose for and produced a nice warmth to the scene. Snow clouds were starting to roll in once again, and the best light was all but gone. It was time to start the journey home.
covering of snow really has the power to make a familiar scene seem completely unfamiliar. It's that transformative power that makes winter landscape photography unbeatable in my opinion. I'm really happy with the two shots of the ruin I managed to capture today. Even if I hadn't have got the shots I wanted, it still would have been time well spent in a stunning location all to myself. As an extra bonus I managed to grab this shot on the way back. I really love the patchwork fields of the island's east coast covered in snow with amazing diffused winter sun above. Not a bad day's work at all. <laughs>